Steve's preparations go for an FA Cup tie. It's been, to say the least, disrupted over the last week or so. Yeah, um, I've obviously never seen anything, anything like it before. Um, sort of early part of the week, nobody really knew what was, what was, what was going on. Obviously, everybody got tested. Um, obviously, had the results back. Um, so yeah, uh, different testing, but it's all you know, all enjoyable and it's all part of being involved in football. You, you know, you've got to be, you've got to be willing to accept anything that happens, and we all know football can throw up anything. Just first of all, how is the gaffer getting on? Because obviously he tested positive. Is he in good spirits despite his result? Yeah, he's in good spirits. He always is. Um, you know, he sounds if he got a really heavy cold at the minute, but he seems to be fine. Um, Within him, you know, within himself, uh, but obviously he's disappointed not to be around because he'd love to be here. But obviously, he's got to self isolate now for for the coming days. When you look at the last week, there's been a lot of talk about us calling that game off against Hartlepool. It appears that decision has been well and truly vindicated. When you look at the fact that we're going to have nine missing tomorrow afternoon, massive, massively. When you do look back at that, you know, some people questioned it, but like you say, with um, the nine players and the gaffer. It just shows what a, what a fantastic decision it was. You know, we would have been reckless to play the game, and and the results have, have proved that. So no, it was, it was a great decision. Looking back, trying to move away from talking about COVID, the boys who are available, they're going to really have to pull together and get through this cup tie tomorrow afternoon, which will be a tricky game against uh, Leicester, who've already knocked out aside from the league above and the league they play. In. Oh, it's going to be a massively, massively tough game. You know, any FA Cup game away from home, you're playing against a team, yeah couple of leagues below but you know you're going to get my full tilt you know they're going to be bang up for it and and the first thing that we've got to do as a group is is match their spirit and match their desire and if we can do that we'll give ourselves a chance but it's not going to be easy for the lads a lot of lads haven't played um, a lot of football lately um, but they've just got to you know accept the challenge and uh, and sort of and win the game how much of an achievement would it be, bearing in mind we've had the disrupted week for us to come through and win that tie tomorrow afternoon? I think it'd be a huge achievement, you know, with what everybody's been through, you know, not just players and staff, but every, everybody um, within the club. It's been a real, real um, trying week. Uh, the boys have come in today, you know, it feels a little bit strange with, with, with the sort of low number of bodies, but we've got enough for the team and that's, and that's all we need. Um, so it will be, you know, it'll take a great effort, like I say, because a lot of them are sort of undercooked. As you say, they haven't played a lot of football recently, so that you know they're going to have to be, you know, at it tomorrow to get something. Just as a whole, in the last week, you mentioned there, everyone's had to rally round. How supportive have the club been in what's been a very difficult situation for everyone to handle? I think with with everybody not being through it, you know, it, it's a first for a lot of people. But I think the club have handle themselves um, brilliantly um, and that, that's going back from the initial um, postponement of Hartlepool and obviously dealing with the situation again everybody tested then um, and obviously the result coming back quickly you know I don't think they could have done any more um, I think they've been you know been spot on and, and followed the protocol to the T. Looking at tomorrow's game how important is the first 10-15 minutes going to be because you always in these kind of cup ties the hosts will come out flying it's important we get off to a solid start ourselves 100 and like you say there's going to be a bit of inexperience there because you know um a lot of the younger players will be playing so they've got to you know have in their mind they've got to be ready to expect that you know that's what's going to come that first 15 20 minutes is going to be frantic and like i said they've got to match um their desire okay and if we do that then we'll we'll give ourselves a, a good chance of winning the game you mentioned there we're going to have a couple of young players involved tomorrow. How big of an opportunity is that for them that they're going to get some first team experience? Exactly, exactly, and that's where you got you know look at tomorrow and take the positives. You know, there's going to be younger play, young players making their debuts um, or getting a little bit more game time um, for their senior careers. So it's a great chance because as a young player, you know you work for these opportunities. You know, and to be given the opportunity. You know, it's fantastic, but also you have to take them. They have to show that they can deal with these situations. So, you know, we'll, we'll learn a lot more about the younger players tomorrow. And just lastly, after what's been a turbulent eight days or so, how excited for you personally are you to get back to playing a game of football? Of course, you know, it, it's been sort of 10 days now and you don't want to miss games. 
Um, and especially, you know, at the end of the day, it's the FA Cup. It's the best cup competition in the world. And if you can't get excited by that, then you're in the wrong sport. So no, everybody's excited. You know, it's not ideal, the situation we're in, um, but we'll make the most of it uh, and go there and give it, give it everything that we've got. Um, I'm looking to get the result and to be in the hat for the next, next round.